Hello everyone from CryptoWise, a platform for the news, reviews and the updates on the blockchain. I'm Sarah and I'll be your host. Before we start, I'd like to say that if you enjoy our content, please do not forget to give us a like. You can also subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos. As usual, this video doesn't contain any financial advice and I'm not a financial advisor. I review projects for you to have a general idea. You should always make your own research and your own decision before investing. Today, I'm here with a project in the IDEO stage offering a great chance to hop in early. You will understand when you see the project how hyped the players will be about a decent game in the blockchain offering the benefits of Web3. This is called Web3 War and as I have said they are in the IDEO stage but even now they have a solid gameplay which you can download and try for yourself. It is very rare to achieve this in the GameFi space. Web3 War marks a significant departure from conventional gaming experiences, offering a free-to-play multiplayer first-person shooter that seamlessly incorporates Web3 and blockchain technologies particularly leveraging the Zeleka blockchain. Developed by Rolling Thunders, the game aims to redefine the dynamics of player engagement, introducing a skill-focused gameplay experience. The ongoing initial DEX offering of Web3 Wars native FPS tokens presents an opportunity for community members to actively participate in the project's token sale. Whether engaging through platforms like Finceptor or other crypto launchpads, the idea is designed to foster a sense of collective ownership and garner early support for the project. Now I'll be sure to join the idea on Finceptor and actually let me tell you how you can join Web3 War idea using this platform. Finceptor is a decentralized finance liquidity protocol that incorporates a launchpad plugin. Unlike conventional metas that can be expensive and temporary, Finceptor's suite of liquidity products ensures better liquidity management for projects. By offering liquidity walls, bonds, and a launchpad, Finceptor enables projects to bootstrap and grow their liquidity efficiently. That is why I allow using Finceptor and joining ideas is quite simple. To use Finceptor, you should first complete identity verification you can sign up using your social accounts or email. Then, you can acquire Fins tokens as they are required to access sales on Finceptor. The most important step here is staking. You should stake Fins tokens to become eligible for access to bonds and allocations for ideas. Once you have Fins tokens and completed the necessary steps, you can explore the available initial DAX offerings and bonds on the platform. If successfully registered, invest in USDT during the specified time frame. Allocations are pre-secured and users have a set period to deposit USDT stable coins. For that, you should click deals on the top left corner and there you will see the available projects to participate. You can see the latest deal at the top here and just below there are upcoming ones and as you can see Web3 War is just here. For Web3 War idea, registration period is from 26 January at 4 to 3 February at 4. For details about guaranteed allocation round, increase your allocation by staking more FINS token for longer. Remember from 5th of February at 4 to 6th of February at 4. First come first serve round. Now let's check the details about first come first serve round. Stake a minimum of 2000 FINS tokens to be eligible for FCFS from 6th of February at 6 to 7th of February at 6. Having talked about the IDEO, let's dive into the game itself. First, let me introduce you to the in-game currency FPS token. Players can get tokens and skins through their in-game prowess, transforming these assets into non-fungible tokens on the Zilliqa blockchain. This innovative economic model enhances the tangible value of in-game items. Central to Web3 Wars economic framework is the FPS token, facilitating seamless transactions within the gaming universe. FPS token enables players to acquire cosmetic skins, season passes, and various in-game items. The impending launch of FPS token, coupled with the skill to earn system, promises players a unique opportunity to earn rewards with inherent real world value through active in game participation. As I have said, Web3 War sets itself apart by integrating NFTs, transforming in game items into verifiable and tradable assets on the Zeleka blockchain. 
players not only possess these cosmetic skins but also hold the underlying NFTs in their blockchain wallets. These NFTs can be traded, sold or bought on the blockchain or dedicated marketplaces, providing a tangible and dynamic value to in-game assets. The gameplay and the features are also very diverse. Web3 Wars gameplay is a testament to player agency, where avatars are miraculously customized, and an array of weapons allows for tailored playstyles. That means players can customize their in-game avatars, including outfits, colors, and patterns offering a personalized touch to their profiles. Like any good FPS game, a wide selection of weapons, including pistols, rifles, SMG, shotguns and more with customization options is here. The battlegrounds panic urban war zones to idyllic jungles are crafted for intense fast-paced action. It also has diverse game modes including deathmatch, kill confirmed and gun game with plans for additional modes in upcoming updates. Taking everything into account, it is easy to see that the team is passionate about creating and supporting this game. The required system specs are also not that high and the game is well optimized it seems. Of course you need a graphics card but 8GB of RAM will be enough. You can start by downloading for Windows but you can even join from browser so you can always be a part of the fun. For that you can use the Fusion with the button on the home page. The community has already embraced the project both for its gameplay and the promising financial benefits it offers. It is good that the team also cares about the community. You can see there was a recent airdrop which has ended on the 11th of January, which was a very good way to keep the community closer. There will be more updates and events on Web3 War and you should be in touch with the project on their social channels such as Twitter, Telegram and because it is a game of course on Discord. Also they have a YouTube channel with gameplay videos and I suggest you to check them out. That's all for today. This is Sarah and you watch CryptoWise. We will see you on the next video. Until then, take care.